Yeah, he's about to get haunted. Yo, you cannot do that. Get the Are you kidding? No way! This is a car parking spot, not a woman parking spot. Idiot. What's up guys, Enigma here, and I'm a qualified body language analyst, and today we're going to be looking at this entitled Karen, who literally sprints across a car park and jumps in the way of a car to stop this couple from parking in a parking spot that had only just been made vacant. She then demands that they leave while she waits for three whole minutes for their car to come and park, which isn't even in the parking building at this time. This is just a crazy video, so let's take a look. Alright baby, about to get haunted. Yo, you cannot do that. Get the Are you car kidding? Here. No way. You're not even in a car, woman. Are you serious? No, no, get no. The get out, get of, out of here. Are you kidding? You're not in a car. Get out. Where? I don't see no car. You're you, just you running to a spot well, right now. Are you serious? Me? Are you. S so this is just nuts. The car is already indicating to enter the spot before this woman even crosses the road. It's not like this Karen was waiting in the spot. No, she had to run and force the car to stay out. All of her body language indicates that she lacks confidence and security. She instantly puts her hands in her pockets, which is a trait of a low status individual. She clearly knows what she's doing is wrong, but she continues to do it anyway out of pure entitlement. She then gets angry at the people when they complain, which further goes to reinstate the point that she's incredibly entitled. You're no, here first. Are you matter. kidding me? You f serious right now, woman? Get out of here. You fing serious, dude? How are you gonna stand in a spot right now? Jesus Christ. You can't. Dude, I really don't give a f if you're standing here. You have no car here. This is a car parking spot, not a woman parking spot. Idiot. She now gets even more agitated. She breaks eye contact and paces around. This is a sign that she's going through high levels of stress as she can't maintain eye contact with the people in the car. She looks away as a method of protecting and distancing herself from the situation that is making her stressed. I mean, what on earth did this lady expect when she practically ran in front of the car that had quite clearly claimed the spot? I'm gonna stand here all day, I got time. I got time. Stand here, I don't care, dude. Alright, stand there. Yeah, seriously. Dude, seriously, I'm f***ing here. I don't care. You think you could freaking walk into a spot? And now what looks like the mother or older family member arrives. Who sends a couple of people out of their car to look for parking spaces? Probably to stand in them just as this woman did. I have never heard of this and it seems just nuts to me. That's not how it's supposed to work. And again, the other woman is doing the same thing with her hands. They're in her pockets, which is a sign of powerlessness and insecurity. They lack any confidence when their entitlement is challenged and just distance again and ignore the couple. This would suggest that this entitlement was taught into them or conditioned into them. They generally expect people to bow down to them. Are you joking? That's what you need to, 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 to. I have never heard of this before. It's a good thing we got the horn. What? Yeah, you find another spot, walk into it, and let your dad take it. I'm already here. <coughs> I have never heard of this before. Yeah, point at me. Whoa. You idiot. This is probably one of the most annoying videos that I've ever seen. The look of disgust on that woman's face toward the couple who are just trying to enter the parking spot that is quite clearly theirs. It really infuriates me. This isn't just selfishness, this is entitlement, which is so much worse. Anyone who decides to question the woman's self-centeredness is immediately scoffed at with that look of disgust. Are you gonna run into a spot and take it like that? This is not how parking spots work, okay? I'm not in the way. She ran into the spot. Jesus Christ. Where are you? I'm not being too proud. Which car are you in? Which car are you in?
Well, now you can tell that it runs in the family. I've often speculated that the entitled and self-centered behavior of Karens originated from their parents raising them with positive enforcement of this horrible behavior. What this means is that when they act entitled, instead of being punished by their parents, they were instead rewarded positively. These are quite clearly her older family members who back her up, which shows that this behavior is passed on. It's sad really, and I feel sorry for the woman at the start because her parents and family have raised her to be like this. It's not her fault. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.